We lovingly refer to this property as the owl house because it looks like it has a little owl, like a little owl face outside front. Um, and this is our vacation house, our weekend house. Designing your own process it, for a designer is it's painful. I, I do not like to design for myself. Uh, we opted to paint all the floors white. Um, we went with a high gloss finish and, uh, and I think that that sets the mood and the tone for a house that feels very dreamlike because the, the light quality in a home like that is so specific but it, it really sets the tone for a house that feels like you're stepping into a vacation. We're always looking for something that really makes me feel like a complete escape from the city. We um, renovated all the bathrooms, renovated the kitchen, um, renovated the fireplaces, and everything that made a real visual impact, we took care of. The kids went crazy when they walked into the house. When we started thinking about the design for each one of them, we kind of understood their personalities already. And Ollie is like a little bit of a quiet, moody, serious person. And we wanted it to feel like an extension of nature. The idea was that when you would look out the window, you'd just basically be like in a tree house and you just continue to see trees out the window. For Lola's room, she's a very bright, precocious, extremely extroverted child, and I think that the room perfectly reflects her personality. We carry the same rugs that we're using um, downstairs to upstairs, because I like the continuity. And we went really white, really creamy, just like everywhere else in the house. Then with the primary bathroom, we really did it up and <laughs> went with a really beautiful mixture of limestone and marbles and just really had a lot of fun with making that space lush and creamy and uh, something that I feel really happy about coming home to. It feels like a retreat. It's really beautiful to be able to build our own home and finally be able to say, you know, who are the vendors that we've loved working with over the years? Who are the people that inspire us, that have the best goods, the best, most beautiful things that we can collect and bring together into one home that we get to enjoy finally?